So what is the deal with Trello labels? How do you customize the text? How do you even get the little text to show up on the actual label once you're using it? And more importantly, how can you leverage labels to actually get the most out of your productivity workflow inside of Trello? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. I'm gonna give you four tips coming up. All right, so here we are inside of Trello. And if you're unfamiliar with labels, they're this really cool thing that you can add to cards in order to differentiate between them. So you can see they have different colors right up here and that symbolizes different things. So to add a Trello label, you can click on the card and kind of go through all these steps of clicking on the label. You can customize it and maybe call it something like priority or urgent um, and customize the colors as you go. The thing is that involves a bunch of different steps, right? You have to click on the card, you have to click on labels, and you have to select the label and add it to your card. But there is a much easier way to do that. So to speed things up, you can click on your card and then click on the L key on your keyboard. And then you can select the label that you want to add through the different arrows, or you can actually just type in the number of the label. So each label has a number appended to it, and you can just type it in. So two, three, four, so on and so forth. So that's a very easy shortcut to just add labels on the go. Now, one of the questions that I get asked all the time here on the channel is how do you make the label names, right? The actual text show up on the board. So it's really simple. All you have to do is click on the label and the actual text will show up. If you don't want to have to click and you just use your keyboard, you can use the semicolon key and that will hide or show your Trello labels. This next strategy that I love using with labels enables me to remember that I need to work on the most profit generating areas or tasks in my board first. It's a great little strategy if you're a leader, a creator, or an entrepreneur, and you want to make sure that you are delegating things that are not really worth your time to other people on your team who can help you so that you can focus on the things that are generating business, that are generating, you know, a progress or making specific changes that really matter. It's a tip that I got from one of my mentors and he used an analog system where he had a bunch of sticky notes all over his monitor and the walls in his house to remind him of this one question is the task at hand worth a thousand dollars or more now not everyone's hourly rate is a thousand dollars plus but it's a good reminder and so this is a strategy that I would love for you to implement see I will go in and have the labels and I will actually uh, add individual dollar signs to them so that I can identify whether this task is worth my time and energy on an hourly basis. So maybe this admin task has a single digit dollar sign as a reminder, but maybe something that's a little bit more intense and I know will produce uh, more results will have a larger digit tag. And that way I can look at all of my individual tasks and I can prioritize them based on whether or not they're worth my time. So again, high level strategy, especially if you're an entrepreneur, something really important that you should be focusing on is prioritizing. So if you want to find out what number is associated with each label, you can click here on the menu and go to more. From there, you will find a tab that says labels and you can see all the labels um, that you have available on this board. Now, in order to kind of understand how this works, it's a little bit weird, but uh, Trello does provide us with this uh, shortcuts list. And I will link that in the video in the description box below, but you'll see that each label color is appended to a specific key for a shortcut. So green labels, no matter what you customize them to, will be number one, yellow will be number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, etc., etc. So kind of going back to our original trick, you can click on opening any card, hit the L button, and then append whatever number you'd like to see. So here's two, three, right? We are kind of already showed how to do that. And that's how that works. And now that we've armed you with some pretty cool Trello label tips, I'd love to hear from you. What are some of the questions that you have around Trello and productivity? Leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget that, hey, I can talk about Trello all day long, but I want you to watch my other videos. We have an entire playlist dedicated to Trello alone, and I'd love for you to check it out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next tutorial video. Un beso. See you on that one. Bye for now.